A round pen is a very safe, economical way, number one safety, as I mentioned, uh, to be riding a horse where if a young horse especially, if uh, you don't have to worry about him running across the property, running across the road, and a round pen is a very simple way to, to uh, solve that problem. You can see that the diameter is, is 40, 50, 60 feet are the, probably the most popular. 40 foot if you're just breaking a young horse and he can't get away from you, you can still long line or lunge. Uh, a 50 foot gives you enough room to get started a little bit further. If you get under a saddle, a 60 foot is probably the, the most popular diameter. It gives you enough room to make turns without twisting the shoulders too much and it gives the horse more stability and versatility. You can build a round pen out of wood, is what you're using on your farm as fence. There's people put it in out of all other types of material. A permanent installation will do the job. The portable panels are more efficient in the sense that you can move them, they have residual value, and it's just a matter of how heavy you want to go. And we've got round pens for just completely broke horses or we've got round pens that you can put rodeo bulls in and they'll still hold up. Probably the best thing, there's different types of panels here which you can see. The number one thing, there's five foot and there's six foot. Five foot are definitely the most economical and sufficient to take, there's very few horses can jump a six foot jump, even the, the top jumpers. The a few clinicians years ago used to make six foot and promoted them, but there's not much of that anymore. Probably 90% of all round pen panels and round pen fences and all that are five foot tall. The Bureau of Land Management used to require a six foot tall panel for the, uh, uh, adopting the, uh, the wild horses, uh, the rescue horses, the burrows and all that. They've even changed those rules in the last several years. So there's different weights on now that. The, the pinning system is critical. Some of the, this is a typical farm store panel with a drop pin, a couple washers. This is a J hook. This is a rodeo latch. The disadvantage to these two, if you're gonna put a round pin in the been raining and you don't want to turn the horse out on pasture. You want to control where they're at, either a stoned area or just an area they'll tear it up. You want to take the halter off. We've had cases where the horse gets a halter hooked in here and you really got problems. The same thing here, rubbing against it, they get hooked on here, you can have some serious injuries. There's different tops. This is what we call horse safe, straight up. This is a standard panel that's been on the curve panel, called a corral panel, been on the market for years. The problem with this, if a horse or an animal rears up and gets a hoof caught in, you've got some serious problems. The majority of the panels we sell for the equine industry and even the cattle industry anymore are what you call horse safe. A horse cannot get a, a, a hoof caught up here in the fence. This is the safest hitch you can have, a rodeo latch. There's no way you can get a halter caught on it. You can't get a hoof caught in it. And it's any company on their heavy duty or their deluxe panels are using this type of a latch, a pinning system like this. And then there's different weights. Uh, here's farm store panels that uh, are lighter weight. You know, they're easy to pick up. This is a 12 foot. This is a farm store panel. When they bend this tube, you can see it's lighter weight metal and it crimps. Here's a heavier metal. When you bend it, it doesn't crimp. It's a heavier steel. This is a typical farm store panel again. Here's a, a what we call our, our standard corral panel and it weighs another seven or eight pounds more than this because there's that much more steel in it. Then we get into the horse safe, which is what we primarily sell. We have our standard horse 12 foot panel and it's probably 10 pound, 12 pound heavier than either one of these panels because there's more steel in it. We get into our, what we call our, our heavy horse. 
and it's, it's heavier than the standard. And if you're roping and you have a, a, a calf hit it or a steer hit it, you got a little bit more strength. Cattle will push and shove on a panel. Horses, it's more of an optical barrier than a true physical barrier. Horse has got his eyes set wider on his head. He can see something, He'll, they'll run up and they'll stop before they physically hit it. We get into a super duty panel and it weighs almost double what this panel weighs. You can put rodeo bulls behind this and they won't bend them. It's that much heavier. It's overkill for the average horse operation. Plus, ladies have a hard time lifting all these. This, the standard horse is gonna be sufficient for the vast majority of anything you're gonna do around the farm. Again, I'm going back to the, the reason for a, a round pen. Number one, safety for the rider, the individual handling the horse, and the animal itself. You control the environment. Like I mentioned, over the, uh, the long run, if you build one out of wood, which you're building on your farm, or any other type of uh, post and structure permanent, you can't move them. The, um, or if you do, you tear them down and you, you, you can maybe salvage less than 50%. Up to, up. Portable panels like this, over the last 40, 50 years, uh, with the price of steel going up, the tariffs, I don't know what's going on there, but the uh, prices keep going up. We've got round pens that we sold 15, 20 years ago that sold for eight, nine hundred thousand dollars on the used market right now will still bring twelve, fifteen hundred dollars. A good round pen like this standard horse, a 50 foot round pen is going to be in that fifteen, sixteen hundred dollar range. Um, it's just you can sell them if you decide you're going to move off the farm, sell the horses, whatever, advertise it on any of the Craigslist, any of them and you'll have more, if you ever put up a, a banner at a show, if you put, you'll have a dozen phone calls by the time you get home if you've got a used round pen for sale. If you wanna go, which a lot of people are right now, steel is gonna rust. Um, even these heavy panels are painted and even powder coat, over a period of time, they're gonna get dull and they're gonna rust. Uh, the lightweight, uh, the farm store, is not uncommon for them to rust completely through in 10, 12 years, and they're just not safe. They're, they're just completely rusted. We have gone to hot dip galvanized. Hot dip galvanized is gonna panel like this, is gonna look like this, it may be a little dull, but it's gonna look like this 25, 30 years from now. To do the hot dip, we drill holes the top and the bottom in each pipe. This panel is, for instance, our, our heavy horse, and we dip it in hot, or have it dipped in hot zinc, and that adds about 12 to 14 pounds of, of extra metal. So this panel, weight-wise, is as heavy as our Super Duty here, plus there's as much zinc on the inside of this tube, this tube inside here, as there is on the outside. So it's, gonna, it's not gonna rust. We've also gone into a higher end panel with aluminum. It's lighter weight than the, the entry level corral panel to move around and it'll last 30, 40 years because it, uh, iron, when it oxidizes, rust. Aluminum, as it oxidizes, turns kind of white. But again, it's gonna last that long. It's got a long pin that a horse can't get up all the way clear through. The horse can't get a halter hooked in it, and it's completely safe also. And more people are going for value added into, and not only the cosmetics, they're gonna look like this years from now, they are gonna last longer because they're not gonna oxidize. We still carry six foot tall and a standard horse and a heavy horse. Uh, it, it may be four or five percent of our sales on an annual basis for the six foot. Plus they're heavier, they're harder to move. Uh, we did a big arena uh, where they're doing uh, bull riding, roping with the, the heavy horse panels. And 
and uh, they're holding up fine and we sold that 10, 15 years ago. And even though they may rust a little bit, they're still solid as the day they bought them. If you have any questions on anything, uh, our website's trying to get more information and more information available, you can look at that. Or we've got some very experienced people, you can call the store anytime and we'll be glad to answer any questions you might have.